What is up everybody, it's Matthew from Team Pancakes and uh, today we're going to uh, do a couple uh, booster box openings. We have, uh, of course you can see we have Sun and Moon and Burning Shadows. Um, there's a pre-release going on tomorrow at Grizzly Den Comics in Auburndale. Uh, so if you want to try to come out, I think they have a couple slots open, but the pre-release for Forbidden Light is tomorrow. So we definitely want to see everybody out there that can come. And I figured this would kind of be, you know, I thought... You know, a local store at Carl's Game Station in Winter Haven, which is one uh, we frequent uh, a lot, our team does. That's kind of where we're based out of. We, uh, they had a couple boxes there today, and so I decided to go ahead and get a couple boxes. I know it's not a Forbidden Light opening. I don't have any of those boxes yet. But I figured we could open up some of these, maybe get the Gold Ultra Ball in the Sun and Moon, and maybe like a Secret Rare Guzma the Burning Shadows, because there are really good full arts and secret rares in these, so we'll see if we can uh, pull, you know, anything super ridiculous, so, um, and then I got a couple extra packs here, uh, I got three uh, Sun and Moon and three Burning Shadow here, so we're gonna open up these and see if we can get anything good, so today we're gonna open up these packs, let's see if we get any crazy pulls, and just kind of chill uh, before the pre-release tomorrow, and just kind of see if we can anything good that we can use in these upcoming decks that we're gonna be uh, doing. Let me fix the camera here. Okay, it's a little bit better. I'm trying to get used to doing this guys with my phone so just uh, give me a second here. Don't want anything to fall over so. Having some technical difficulties. Give me one second. Okay, I think that'll be good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up a couple packs and see if we can get anything decent. I'm not going to really go over any of these cards because we pretty much know um, what they all do. So, uh, Okay, energy switch, nothing really there. Alright, so first pack. And I'm really looking forward to the pre-release tomorrow. I'm not sure what promo I'm going to get, but um, I'm looking forward to possibly pulling some really broken stuff. Uh, out of all of the um, good cards that are going to be in this set. So, open escape rope. Hey, Acerola, I'll actually take that. Actually pretty decent. I always use more Acerolas. Okay. This pack here. And there's probably not going to be anything decent. Okay, there's a luminous barrier. Uh, probably not going to be anything decent in these packs just because these are the ones that were left over from the previous boxes. That had already been open, so and I think most of the good stuff had already been pulled, so that's okay. Let's go ahead. And, okay, it's a white code card. Full. Hey, Salazzle GX. Not horrible. I uh, see. I know some decks that run Salazzle. Not a lot of them, but some do. So Salazzle is not horrible. So we'll take that. Maybe. Okay. We'll go ahead and put that over here. Go ahead and put Acerola over here as well. So so far we have Salazzle. And we've got two more of these regular packs to open. Okay, screen. And okay, foil EXP share. That's cool. Nest ball. All right. And the last random pack we had open over here. All right. And it's a white. Will we pull anything. And we get a Dragonite. Adorable little Dragonite with Dragon Wave. And. That's pretty much it for that. Okay. So, pulled a Salazzle. So, not terrible. So, we'll go ahead and pull the... Let's see. There's the one. We'll go ahead and, I guess, pull the Sun and Moon first. So, we'll go ahead and get these set up here. And put that back. We'll set the Burning Shadow off to the side. Later, we'll put this here. I'm actually going to go ahead and get some sleeves. So that we have sleeves to put on decent cards in, because I don't want to bend them, or have anything crazy to go with that. And I also forgot to get sleeves before I actually started shooting the video, so, you know, I'll get those real quick. So there should be good to go. So let me get these white sleeves here. Okay. Try not to bump the desk, because I don't want the camera to fall. So, alright, here we go. Got her sleeve, that sleeved up right there, and there's our Salazzle GX. Okay, so 
I'm gonna put these off to the side and we'll continue. So yeah, I'm excited for the pre-release tomorrow. Uh, several of my friends I know are gonna be there and uh, haven't really played in a ton of pre-releases, just in the, oh, it was an Eevee, just in the previous um, Ultra Prism was the real first one I actually competed in. Uh, I probably, I think I started getting into Pokemon right around when Sun and Moon Base Set came out. I didn't do the pre-release for that, but I think I did the one for Guardians Rising. I think that was my first one. So, it's pretty cool. I don't really pull well at pre-releases though, so that definitely stinks, but yeah, it is what it is. So, a lot of new good cards coming out in this next set. Uh, the Krosma GX looks really good. Um, you guys can see all these. Okay, that's what I pulled there. Krosma looks good. Zygarde GX, I have a lot of hope for. Um, I don't know, just a lot of good cards in this next set that people, are, I think, are going to be able to make decks out of. So, it was a foil DCE. That's pretty. Hang on. That's an Ultra Ball, but it's not the gold Ultra Ball we want, so we got to keep looking. Gotta keep digging. So far, we haven't really hit anything in these packs. Oh, here's a white. Oh, it's something. It's something. What is it? Hey, Primarina. That's a pretty card. I'll take a Primarina. She's. Uh, Poplio is always the card that I played um, with in here. That way, y'all can. So, yeah, Primarina was always the card that I played with. Or, not the card I played with, but the Pokemon I played with in the games. I always picked Poplio. Because, as everybody knows me, I love water types. Blastoise is my favorite. Squirtle is my favorite starter, so. Okay, nothing really there. So, if y'all are watching this, put down in the comment section, what's your favorite uh, starter Pokemon from the game? Like, what's your favorite uh, starter Pokemon from any game? And then what's your favorite Pokemon of all time? Like, out of all of them, what's, what's your number one favorite? Let me know. And let us know down in the comments. Because everybody's different. Everybody's got their... Uh, favorite, you know, types. I know uh, Kerry uh, from our um, team, his favorite is Sylveon. It's one of his favorites. And of course, you know, Blake loves Snorlax. It's like his favorite. I like Blastoise. And I'm not sure what JD's favorite Pokemon is. Never actually asked him, but anyways. Okay. Decent. No. Okay, so be yeah, a lot of packs and a lot of trash. I didn't actually get a trash bag before doing this. It's probably bad. Okay, so we got a white. And we got a Rabombi. Which actually this card's not bad, especially um I've seen some people running it in like the Alolian and Doug Trio decks and stuff. So, um which I know the deck's not really top tier, but I think the deck is just kind of funny and that it can work the majority of the time, so I test play it online a lot and it works, but then again, I know playing online doesn't really help, <laughs> so, with testing purposes. So, let's see, a uh, double crab brawler there, so, experience chair, spinda, alright, so, haven't really pulled a lot so far, I'd like to pull a decent secret rare out of here if I could, uh, we'll see, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh I did not think I would pull it I thought it was going to be um, I thought these were just going to be joke videos for the most part as far as I wasn't going to get good pulls because I don't <sighs> wow okay so this is the gold ultra ball <laughs> this is the secret rare I was just talking about I wanted to pull um, holy crap <laughs> okay so we got the ultra ball Cannot complain about that. I'm going to put this puppy in a sleeve so I do not damage it. And there's the gold Ultra Ball. Right there. That is so pretty. Right out the pack. Alright, so that was pretty much the best pull from that entire set. So, that's awesome. And let's see. Oh, Full Art Lapras. Wow, two good pulls back to back. Or Lapras. I already have a few of these, but this will kind of help me complete my set. And Lapras is a deck I've really been kind of wanting just to build for like League and stuff because Lapras is like one of my favorite water types. And I love this Lapras. I was playing it back when people were playing Quad Lapras 
when it was still popular and there are some good Lapras decks floating around right now so I might try to make a Lapras deck and having the full art will help me get closer to get my place up. Um, I absolutely love Lapras though. He's definitely one of my favorites for sure. There's Lapras. Okay. Well, it's two good pulls back to back so now we might need to expect to have some not so great pulls because you usually don't get that many decent pulls back to back out of these packs and this is sun and moon so it's not like it's the best um not like you're gonna get really super rare money pulls the ultra ball is the best card in the entire set and that just happened to be the card we pull so that's pretty ridiculous if we pull that and we pull the full art guzma out of burning shadows i'll i'm done like that's <laughs> we'll be we'll have made our money back and it'll be a, a good night for sure so all right Still checking through another energy of Evolution Eevee. These are really good. Definitely want to hold on to those. Foil Kakui. Okay. So, yeah, so the pre release tomorrow. I'm excited. Um, I think they're going to have a full amount of people there. And um, I think it'll be really. Oh! Decidueye. Decidueye GX. It's pretty good. I think those are going for about seven or eight bucks, maybe. And people might still be building with it, so Sidui GX, not a bad pull at all. I would definitely take it. It's another Rangaroo. Rangaroo decks have been really popular lately just because it's a very anti-Zoroark right now, which I can understand. So Rangaroo's cool. I like a Rangaroo. So so far some decent pulls. Cannot be upset with those. Kangaskhan vs. Hollow. Okay. Oh, well, I guess we know Crobat's the reverse hollow of this bag accidentally. Kind of. Okay. Shelter, Arena, Ultra Ball. Always hold on to your Ultra Balls. You know, Ultra Balls are definitely a staple for every deck. And uh, I prefer the Ultra Balls that are the ones that come out of Sun and Moon, like the ones we've been seeing, as opposed to the older ones, just because I like the art better. Uh, but that's just me. So, Mr. Experience Share. Okay. Still can't believe I got the gold Ultra Ball. I did not think I was going to pull that. So, that was pretty sweet, I'm not going to lie. Another energy evolution AV. Share Lily. And I also prefer the other Lily art uh, to this one. I mean, this art's okay and the full art of this one's okay, but I do prefer the other Lily, if anyone ever asks. I just think the other Lily's so pretty. In fact, I have one of the Lilies from Blake who uh, traded it to me, and I call it my friendship Lily because he didn't have to trade it to me, but he did because he's like my bro. So. Switch. I remember when this card, uh, Puku Muku, with the, oops, sorry, with the innards out was being paired with uh, the Sidui, and I just thought that was a really funny uh, deck idea, and it still could be a decent deck idea, but just like a fun deck for League or something, but I like Puku Muku. He's a really cool little water type. Pokemon, not do much, but he's fun. I like him. Another wow, we're getting a lot of these energy evolution EVs. That's really good because I need more of those. Another Gengar or Crobat, sorry, not Gengar, Crobat. Ugh. Okay, cards are starting to pile up here. Spend a repel, okay, nothing too crazy there. Packs keep getting harder to open here. They keep wanting to fall out here. Okay. So yeah, Forbidden Light pre-release, Zygarde, uh, GX, is, uh, you know, with Bonnie, that combo is going to be retarded uh, with, um, you know, just being able to um, use your GX attack over and over again. It's pretty broken. So. Let's see here. Light. Okay. Anything decent? Hey, Ringaroo! 
I'll take a Rangaroo. He's played in a lot of decks. And eventually when Remedy, when Remedy and Octillery rotate, uh, they're not going to be able to play him anymore. So that's a Reverse and Rangaroo. I will take that. And a Foil Rainbow Energy. It's pretty cool. Getting down to the last few. Oh, I'm actually going to put a ring of room in the sleeve. It's actually a pretty good card to have. Getting down to it. The white card. Hey, a Rangaroo and Espeon. Wow. So two really good. We got the Rangaroo Rare and then the, the Espeon GX. So both really good cards, and uh, wow, it's actually really cool. I pulled both of those in the same pack. This box so far, guys, has been really, really good. So we'll put the Rangaroo there next to the other Rangaroo. Got monkey business going on, guys. This box, nothing but monkey business. All right, so we got Espeon. Very cool. Two Orangaroos, Espeon, Decidueye, Lapras, Golden Ultra Ball, Cream Arena. So far, it's been a pretty decent Sun and Moon set. I cannot complain. So. Okay, easy there. Uh, let's see, Greninja GX. Greninja GX is going to be a really cool card coming out in this next set. And I already see people starting to pair it off with uh, Zoroark. Of course, who else are you going to pair it with, right? That's like the best card right now the format is so broken so yeah that's definitely the Greninja GX I think is going to be a thing um, what did I talk about Necrozma GX is going to be a thing with Malamar being able to just get all your psychic energy back I think is going to be stupid broken so that's going to be crazy um, there's a couple other decent trainers in the set like Lady Crushing Wake um I don't know. They're, 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 they look okay, but they're not. Wow. Solgaleo GX. Seems good. I think this is probably one of the best GXs we can actually pull um, in this box. So Solgaleo GX. What a rip. Really good pull there because this card is actually being played still in standard. It's coming back. Steel types are kind of making a little bit of a stand again in standard, and uh, which they should be because they're actually really solid decks. So we have a few packs left of Sun and Moon, and then that will be all she wrote. Rainbow Energy, Charger Bug, Rotom Dex. I always like Rotom Dex. Not the card as much, but Pokemon's always been kind of cool. Pretty, pretty adorable little dude. Okay. White. Arcanine. Those are rare. Okay, and go last pack of Sun and Moon. Go ahead and give this code away for free. So there's the code for that. Toxapex is our card, and another Pisimian, which I will take. All right. So here are this was actually from Burning Shadows, but here are our Sun and Moon pulls. So we have Solgaleo GX. Espeon GX, both the Orangaroos, Sigiwai, Lapras, Golden Ultra Ball, still can't believe we pulled that, that's crazy, Golden Ultra Ball, Primarina, and there you go, there's all the Sun and Moon pulls, right there, so pretty decent set of cards if I would say so myself. <laughs> And then, of course, the Salazzle was left over from the Burning Shadows, so we're going to go ahead and just keep that right over there. And we will continue on with the video. So we have Burning Shadow packs next. Okay, so we'll set those there and there. Now, if we can pull the full Arguzma, guys, this is going to be... Nut oh, I just knocked over all the cards. Oh my goodness, I knocked over a lot of cards. Hold on. This is the uncut version. Hold on, guys. We're getting there. We're gonna see, look at Lillipup. He's like, I can't believe you just dropped all that stuff. I know, Lillipup. I'm sorry. It's crazy stuff. 
Okay. So I'm kind of running out of room on my desk area, but we're going to try to make this work. Try to hope everything doesn't just topple over. So, all right. Well, let's go ahead and start with the Burning Shadow Packs and see what we can pull. All right. Burning Shadows. Decent set for certain things. Uh, certain good cards. Forgot when Pod came in there. And Sophocles, okay. Nothing crazy. So... Picks, Wimpod, Raquinid, Kiawe, good. Kiawe's not horrible, I'll take that. People are playing Kiawe, especially those Ho-Oh Turnator decks. Had to get that turn one Kiawe action going on. Okay, Oddish. Acerola, okay. I think more decks should play Acerola. I think it's a really underrated card. I know some decks it's hard to find space for it, but it's just a really good card. Uh, for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't get the full art Guzma, but we got the second best card, I think, full art in this set. We got the full art Acerola. Wow. Seems good. I'm not going to lie. These are some of the better of the these boxes that I have opened in a long time, so I think I'm going to start opening up boxes regularly on the channel instead of doing it in my own you know, doing it on my own or at the shop, I'm going to start doing it on the channel because I think you guys are good luck. You guys are. Yes. So, wow. Full Art Acerola here. Let me just put that back up in the light real quick so y'all can appreciate that again. I love this card. It's one of my favorite supporters. It's one of my favorite characters from the game. She's just, uh, such a cool card and I love the Full Art. She's so sassy. She's got that sassy stance too. So, really good card and really cool. I'm so glad I pulled that. Would have liked the Guzma, the Acerola. I like Acerola just as much. So that is awesome. Okay. Like the Buzz, our rare Dumbbells, Wishful Baton. Nothing too crazy there. Fata, okay. Windpod, Jigga de Maru, Sock, Mudbray, Ralts, Simeon. Not the other Pissimian that's being played, but that comes in a different set. I can't remember the set off the top of my head, but I know it does come in a different set. So. Okay, Sneasel, Bruxish, Lectivir. Eh, nothing really there. Try this one. Yeah, see, some of these packs, they just fall right open. I don't understand why some of them do that. It's crazy to me. So, okay, Ralts. Fish, not want a kila, nothing there. Okay. Okay, nothing. Getting a lot of green packs right now, so hopefully that means we'll start pulling the good stuff. Sooner or later, we've got to pull some good stuff, right guys? Another green. Hey, luminous, hey, two luminous barriers. Look at that. So you got the foil and the regular one. This card is good in nine tails. Definitely has a two of. I really like this card a lot. Very good in nine tails deck. Hmm. Making it those EXs and GXs can't damage is very important in this format. You're seeing a lot of those cards still played, mainly in the decks. Our ways around it. Oh, foil tormenting spray. Our, hey, Guzma. I'll take a Guzma. Sure. Card's actually somewhat decent. I'll actually just go ahead and put the Guzma right there. Put your boy Guzma right there in the shot. Because he has to have a little bit of the limelight because he's Guzma, you know. So. Okay. Let's see. Eh, nothing. We've been hitting a lot of green packs. We uh, Ace of Roll is the only decent card we've pulled so far. So I'm hoping sooner or later we'll start hitting some decent stuff. Okay, here's a white card. Hey, Gardevoir GX. That's a really good GX to have in here too, for sure. Uh, Gardevoir GX. Doesn't see as much play in standard as it used to. 
but definitely still a good card and uh, it might be start to uh, making a little bit of a comeback here in standard just depending but Gardevoir GX super cool card um, I played this deck for a while I haven't actually really played it competitively but I do like Gardevoir and my wife Megan actually has a, a Zoroar Gardevoir deck that she enjoys playing so Gardevoir GX that's a good GX to pull out of that out of this box out of this set Pod. Knocked Owl is our rare. Scoop up. Scoop up. Very important for that Lucario GX, which actually gets a reprint in Forbidden Light as a full one, I believe, in a rainbow rare. So that's kind of cool. I've seen the full art. It looks very, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Meowth. Nothing crazy there. I like Lana a lot, and I like her artwork. Of course, I like any water trainer. I just wish she had like a better effect for where the game is at right now. But it's just me. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera. I'm trying to make it to where it doesn't fall off. Because that's the last thing I want to have it do, it's just to fall into oblivion. Pikachu. Ain't nothing. Yeah, getting a lot of greens. Got two really good pulls, but hitting all the green. Version. Weavile with the Rule of Evil. It's actually a really cool card. And Spiper. Nothing crazy there. Okay. Waltz. Sorry about that, guys. Popping up in the chat there. Hey, Sorolla, that's my friend Rocky. He likes to message me when I'm in the middle of stuff <laughs> from time to time. So uh, it's all good, though. Uh, if you guys are looking for custom GX counters, actually, shout out to Rocky Asbel. The guy actually makes custom GX counters uh, for people, and he's actually really good at it. And I actually have a couple, or actually, I have a few. Um, I have a foil A Sorolla here. Um, I actually have a, um, let's see, what is it? A Keldeo a GX counter. I have a um, Blastoise GX counter and a uh, Buzzwall GX counter. So next time I do a box opening, uh, hopefully I can uh, show those off to you guys, and so that you can see them. And he actually uh, does a really good job on them, and he sells them pretty cheap, and uh, they're really well done. And I get asked about them a lot when I go to tournaments and stuff. So definitely check him out. Over there, Grizzly Den is usually uh, kind of like his home spot, so check him out. Check him out over there and ask about him, and he'll, uh, he does really good work with those. So we got a Lucario. It's our rare. It's all right. Not the best, but not horrible. Although that Lucario is not really being played right now, so not that great. Oop. Knocked the camera again. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Lycan Rock is our rare. This one I am seeing being played in some Buzzwall, in some Buzzrock decks and stuff like that. And he could be decent, but there's also fighting support coming out in this next set. More support for fighting Pokemon, which I guess they deemed is what it needed. Um, Beast Energy, Beast Ring, uh, the baby Buzzwall looks ridiculous. Um, the Diancie Prism, probably the best Prism card that's been printed so far. So, a lot of decent stuff. Let me move this, guys, so y'all can see. A lot of good fighting support coming out in this next set. Okay, we pull... Hey, Marshadow GX. It's not the best, but not uh, horrible. So, Marshadow GX. Not really being played. I know it's seeing some play in some... Uh, the other day on uh, when I was playing... Uh, I played on stream the other day. I think it was when I was playing my Garchomp Lucario. I went up against a Marshadow box deck that was playing Jolteon and Glaceon. So the card can be good. It's also played and expanded usually like a Night March deck as a one of. But uh, it's pretty decent. But Another Guzma. Alright, so I got two Guzma bros hanging out down there. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Right, it's another green. Probably not going to get much in here. Nope. Never really see uh, Heatmore Raichu being played anymore. That was a 
popular um, mill deck, but now there's other, there's some other mill decks out there in standard that are a little bit more popular. Just, all, just you know, mill stall decks that are being played. It's not my favorite type of deck to play, but my wife enjoys playing them, but me not so much. Not a big Sylveon player or control player when it comes to Pokemon. More so for Magic when I play Magic, but for Pokemon, yeah, not so much. I'm more of an aggro player. That's why I play Buzzwole. <laughs> Another decks like it so another green figured we got a lot of green hey another guzma so we got three guzmas we might complete the set get a whole play set of them but we've only pulled the Mars shadow and the gardevoir out of this box i was hoping we possibly pull something else so we'll see hey is my champ there this one i was talking about him the champ showed up not really being played but yeah, a lot of people like to trade for Machamp. He has a lot of, uh, I don't know, just inherent value in himself. You know, it's just a Pokemon that a lot of people like. So, Machamp's cool. I'll take Machamp. So. Okay. Acerola. We're down to our last four to six packs. I'll throw in a random code here. Uh, towards the end when we get here to the end for uh, Burning Shadows Code and let's see nothing there and hoping we can get at least one if not two more decent pulls out of this box hey Glissopod I will take Glissopod that card is being played it's a good card, good trade bait, because uh, I don't know if I actually need Galissapod right now, but I will definitely take between Galissapod and Gardevoir. Those are two of the better uh, Pokemon pulls in this set. So yeah, Galissapod, I will definitely take it. I was hoping to pull a full art Pokemon somewhere in here. So I can't really complain. Okay, Dark Rides are rare. Can't really complain though with Acerola. That kind of took the cake this this uh, for this box. So I cannot be upset whatsoever. Yeah, these packs are just getting more difficult to open. Okay. Magikarp, Porygon Z, Mountain Lana Kila. Okay. And we're down to our last four packs. Okay. It's a white code card. Pull anything. Hey, another Salazzle. Well, <laughs> alright. So we got double Salazzle action going on. That's alright. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up. So now we have Salazzle number one and Salazzle number two. <laughs> so there you go. There's Salazzle. So Salazzle and Guzma are biggest uh, quantity of pulls so far. Double pulls. Okay. Another white. Hey, Noivern, here's our full art. All the white code cards were, uh, or all the uh, good packs were towards the bottom of the box. Full art, Noivern GX. Not exactly being played a lot in standard right now, probably just due to the fact that, um, you know, double dragon energy is not a thing right now. Um, but this card can be good, and I actually have several Noivern GXs, but I don't have a full art, so I'm, like, really happy to have this card. Um... Noivern GX is just really good. I know I've seen a lot of people play it with like Garboder just to help like disrupt people's decks in standard. So Noivern GX is actually really cool. So I'm actually kind of happy I pulled the full art of him because I actually don't have him. So cool, cool deal. Noivern GX. Getting that boom burst off. Okay. Green, Electivir, Weavile, Escape Rope, Bombi. Okay. And our last pack. It's a white card. There it is. Last pack of Burning Shadows. Let's see what we pull. It's a Wobbuffet and a Rhyperior. Rhyperior. Same built in some uh, mill decks, but uh, not really used a lot. But Rhyperior's cool. I like him. So, there's a Rhyperior. Rhyperior. Uh, ride-ons so all right well 
Um, I'd say that was a decent uh, pull for those boxes. Um, we got our three Guzmas uh, sitting right here. So it's usually what most decks play. Some decks play four. Some only play two, but most decks do play three. So there's my trip Guzma right there. And then here's all of our pulls for the Burning Shadows boxes. Decent box. So we have, uh, just so y'all can see, we have the Neuvern GX. We have the uh, two Salazzles. In case y'all are curious what they do. I figured most of y'all know what these cards do, so that's why I'm just kind of going quickly through them. We have Galissapod GX right there. We have Machamp GX Pokemon Champion right there. We have Marshadow, another fighting type. The Furious Marshmallow, as I like to call him. We have Marshadow. Then we have Gardevoir GX. Awesome card. Love Gardevoir. And then we have the cool and then we have the uh, coolest card in the set. We have Acerola. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So Acerola right here. Um, I would have preferred the full art Guzma. But I will take the um, Acerola. That's fine. So that was the uh, pulls that we got, guys. As you can see, uh, some pretty good stuff here. So um, I'm going to be picking up a couple boxes of Forbidden Light. And uh, I'm going to be opening them up on the channel. So stay tuned. And I'll also be giving away more code cards. Um, don't forget to comment, uh, subscribe, and hit that like button. I appreciate it. And uh, I will talk to you all later.